In this video, I will tell you why you should buy a custom suit. Let's discuss all the pros and cons so you can make the best decision when it comes to made to measure or custom suits. So my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. We've got over 250 videos talking about men's style. This video is all about made to measure custom suits. Should you buy one? When we weighing up uh, sort of lunchtime options, you know, when you go for a bite to eat, you can obviously always choose the same ham sandwich option because it's cheap and easy and does the job. Uh, but should you sometimes think about and splash out on, on the best possible restaurant, eating in the best possible place? Similar when it comes to suits, you can buy made to measure online, which is probably the cheapest option. You have to measure yourself and you can do all of that probably for three, four, five hundred pounds for five hundred dollars. Or should you actually consider going level up to lash up on the sort of one piece of clothing that can last you potentially decades? Maybe this video should be done in a jacket, so let me just pick up my mate to measure jacket. Oh, I don't know whether you've heard, but this is uh, probably the last couple of days of our free socks giveaway. Click on the link below and that's going to take you to our webpage where you can have our socks for free. Unfortunately, we couldn't get the shipping for free. We asked a few uh, shipping companies whether we can ship it for free. They said, piss off. So we, we, we cannot give you that. But what we're going to give you is our product free, completely free of charge. All you have to do is pay the shipping, click on the link below, register, and we're going to send a, a pair of socks for free. Got it? This is one of the jackets that we made. Shawl lapels, um, sort of nice lining, that it's only half lined, as you can tell. This is completely customized to my specification. All the sleeves are correct length and they slim down. It's also used one of the best Italian mills out there. Should you go for that one? Maybe. So first let's talk about whether the off the rack ready to wear is something you should go on first. And I always encourage all of my clients to first start with company like Suit Supply. You know, I've talked about them so many times you can actually see a video about them here. Um, and only then when you kind of experience the ready to wear, the best ready to wear, the Hugo Boss, um, the Armani, suit supply when you sort of reese when you actually experience them and then you think i'm ready to go to made to measure and that is the time when you actually start looking at made to measure companies you want to know the truth about custom made suits keep listening so first of all you have to know your budget uh, whilst it's sort of impossible uh, to kind of purchase a, a cheap made to measure suit. Some will be more pricey than the others and it's important to understand the budget first. So if you think uh, that you should spend maybe 800 pounds to thousand dollars, there will be there will be made to measure company that can provide that. If you think you can spend maybe a bit more, there is obviously slightly better company providing similar service. It all comes down to how much you want to invest in it and by invest, I mean monetary as well as your time. That's important. Because sometimes it's not only down to money, because if you have to travel 50 miles to get there and let's say you've got two or three appointments, all of a sudden your time um, you know, spend on that product could be 10 hours, 15 hours. And how much does that cost? So if in doubt, usually simple is the best. So if you're purchasing made to measure suits for the first time, then stick to some classic. Maybe actually you shouldn't go for the check that I had. Maybe you should go for just normal blue like this one. This is actually slightly probably of most of out of people comfort zones, but maybe that's something that you should try. Um, you know, nice, easy, lightweight, big lapels. Maybe that should be your first 
choice, not the Czech one. When you choose the fabric, when you choose the company you wanna go with, uh, then keep the suit slim fit. It needs to be slim through the body, it needs to be slim through the sleeves, it needs to sort of wrap around you. Uh, the whole point of having it made to you is that it's exactly how your body shape is. Uh, you know, it shouldn't be um, too much of a, of a leftover material hanging off you because it's made to you. So whoever is making that suit for you, it should actually have it nailed on. Next thing about fabric choice, because some suits are gonna be more versatile for uh, warmer climates where you can actually sort of breathe in them. Whereas some fabrics will be heavier, thicker, kind of flannel fabric. So it depends on when you need that suit for, whether it's summer, whether it's winter, um, you know, whether it's tweed or whether it should be just a suit without, um, you know, sort of any lining inside. So the lining is only to sort of keep the shape, but there's no lining in the back so you can actually breathe in it. Um, think about, think about that. Think about your fabric. What is the suit for? I would also urge you to think about your lapels carefully. The lapels these days, we recommend to all of our make to measure customers, the lapels to be kind of wider so you can actually show your, your nice masculine look because of that V shape that we're trying to create. Um, keep them sort of kind of nice and easy, uh, but make sure that your tailor knows what sort of classic what's timeless so that suit can actually last you for longer so you don't follow this year trend or next year trend or you're trying to predict what's hot you just follow some classic rules and your tailor should know about this and guide you through the process one thing that you could potentially consider going crazy on is the lining inside so this particular suit had our lining in so we decided to put a logo in and decided to put our sort of name and uh, who we are inside the lining. So the entire lining was actually made to our specification. So if you think of going um, sort of made to measure, custom lining is what I recommend. If your tailor doesn't do it, ask him for that. If not, speak to me, comment below. The suit of course not only consists of jackets but also of the trousers so make sure that you understand and your tailor understands the trousers how they're built what can you expect from uh, you know a pair of trousers what they're going to be like when you're going to be wearing them what's the rise what's the uh, sort of break on the bottom of the pants is it a full break is it no break uh, just keep it clean keep it nice keep it how you like it it doesn't matter what people on the internet say keep it how you want to keep it. It's made to measure, it's made to you. And I was speaking once to some Italian tailors and they told me that they very much look into British tailoring for inspirations and for what we do over here. Whereas we very often look at Italian tailoring and just sort of look how they do things because we like it so much. So padding and how shoulders are constructed and how it's gonna sort of lay on you depends on where the suit is from. Very often, English tailors are gonna go for very strict, very rigid build, kind of accentuate your posture. So if you kind of wonky, they will try to bring you up so you actually sort of look more masculine and build and, and kind of straight. Whereas Italian tailors, they very often go with no padding whatsoever. The suit is constructed like a shirt um, and it just feels natural. So if you want shoulder drop the bit or, or you're kind of wonky, this is how it is. This is how you are. So they're going to show you that on your suit. So make sure you understand the differences. And know your body type. If you're tall and slim, um, you know, maybe that's the kind of build that, you, that I've got. Uh, maybe you want to have a sort of slimmer fit, slimmer through the body, so it's actually sort of, you know, wrapped around you. Where maybe if you're a shorter guy, maybe you don't want to have it too long of a suit. So uh, maybe if you are bigger on the hip, maybe you don't have to consider going with different cuts. Uh, maybe with a waistcoat that kind of hides a bit of belly that you've got going on. Um, maybe then you use some padded shoulders to 
to raise your shoulders if you're kind of, you know, slouching and sloppy. So know your physique, know what looks good on you. So if you try a few different tailors, few different suits, most likely you're going to know what looks good on you and people are going to comment and compliment you. So over time, you'll be able to tell exactly what looks good on you. That's your decision. It's made to you. So you tell your tailor how this suit should look like. Bring some pictures in, use your Instagram, use your Pinterest to sort of capture those moments, capture those pictures so they can show that to your tailor. And I would say the last and the most important thing is all about details. When going for custom suits, you'll get to sort of choice of right range of details, which can really elevate your suit and take it completely to the next level. So your linings, your buttons, your stitching, your colors of the inside and out and vents and all choices can be made. So don't be afraid to experiment. Don't be afraid to talk to your tailor about what's classic, what's in and how you should protect this suit going forward. This is a custom made. You should control the process. Ask your tailor. If you can't and if your tailor doesn't, come and speak to me. Leave comments down below. We now make custom suits and custom shirts. We come to you. I'll personally come to you and measure you and we'll ch sort of choose from a variety of fabrics, uh, both shirts and suits, something that is best for you, something that you should actually be wearing for years to come and how you should plan building your wardrobe. We can help you with that. So leave a comment down below if you're ready for me to measure, because maybe you're not, and that's also okay. And you know, I'll be the first person to tell you not to get a made to measure suit. Make sure you understand the process. Hope this video was useful. Let me know in the comments below whether I could help you anyhow. Until next time, stay stylish. See ya.